Hello, and welcome to Decades, the show that tests the millennial knowledge of each decade. I am your host, Haley Sheehan. Let's meet our contestants. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hello, I'm Bobby Zitzman, and I'm from St. Louis. Um, I'm Fiona Corkin, and I'm from Los Angeles. Great. Now that we've met our contestants, let's get to know the rules of the game. Starting 2010, there will be two questions about the decade in the categories of pop culture and news. Whoever buzzes first gets the first crack at the answer. If incorrect, another contestant may steal. We will work our way through. We will work our way through the decades, going back set each decade. Um, so at the end of seven rounds, the two contestants will move on to our speed round. The questions will be rapid fire, and you will have two seconds to answer. So let's get cracking and travel back in time. You guys ready to get groovy? Sure am. All right, up first, 2010s. All right, first question. In March 2013, Pope Francis was elected, becoming the first pope from this country. Fiona. Argentina. Correct. He was actually the first non-European pope since 741. All right, second question. Almost two billion people watched Kate Middleton and Prince William's royal wedding. What year did they get married? Bobby. 2011. Correct. Well, that concludes 2010s, the most recent in our minds. But don't get too comfortable as we're moving back to the 2000s. Back in the decade of MySpace and Juicy Sweatpants, let's start with our first question. In 2004, the Boston Red Sox won the World Series, breaking this 86-year-old curse named after Babe Ruth. Any guesses? Bobby. Uh, the curse of the Bambino? Correct. It actually started when Babe Ruth was traded to the New York Yankees. All right, question two. George W. Bush defeated Al Gore in, in the 2000 presidential elections after a mandatory recount in this state. Fiona. Florida. Correct. That's it for the 2000s. Get ready, because now we're going back before the turn of the century. Let's start with some news. In, 2000, in 1997, the member of the British royal family was killed in a car crash in Paris. Fiona. Princess Diana. Correct. All right, next question. In which city did the TV show Full House take place in? Bobby. San Francisco. Correct. With that, we have finished the 90s. Now we're going back before you were born. Get ready for the 80s. All right, let's rock and roll our way through into the 80s. Question one. In 1981, this television station became the first channel devoted to playing music videos. Fiona. MTV. Correct. The first video played was Video Killed the Radio Star. On to the next one. What famous space telescope was put into operation in 1988? Bobby. Hubble. Correct. That marks the end of the 80s. Let's check in with Danny for a score. So we got a tight round going on here. We got Bobby in place with 50 points and Fiona in place with 50 points as well. All right, we are going to take a quick break before grooving our way back. We'll see you in the 70s. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> the teleprompter screwed up. The teleprompter screwed up. <laughs> and I'm doing the workout from home challenge. So it's first day and I tried an old workout that I've done before on YouTube and I don't feel like I sweat as much as I do when I go out and run. It's day two, I did a quick workout earlier here. I did one that was harder so I sweat a little bit more. 
Day three, I did a quick workout before bed, but it was really hard finding the motivation to do it. I completed the workout from home challenge, and I would recommend it to other people who like working out from home instead of going to the gym if they don't, or if they don't have time to do that. But personally, I think I work out better at a gym where I'm kind of stuck there for 30 minutes to an hour instead of sitting at home where there's so many other distractions for five to 10 minute videos. First day of the challenge, feeling hyped, feeling good after a nice um, back day. That's what it's used to say, which are back days. Hopefully, this will continue. Feeling weird today, didn't do any um, cardio at the legs. Don't skip leg day. Hopefully, I'll get used to this. The shoulders and arms, you can see I got a nice pump going. Feeling confident, I'm doing this. Haven't gone down in reps yet. Hopefully, that stays the same. Day four is chest day. I felt awkward today. I did one less rep of 185. Today I'm feeling pretty normal, just did arms, so cardio is not really a big factor in doing arms. I've been doing cardio for months now and cutting it off is starting to kick in. After deadlifts, I was dead. I couldn't do anything else. I'm happy that the challenge is over. Go back to the 90s. How about you, Fiona? Oh, that's fun. I say I'd say 20s. I'd go way back. All right. All right. Let's get started. The 70s. Can you dig it? Question number one: In what year was the Apple Computer Company formed by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak? Fiona. 76. Correct. Um. In 1979, this individual became the first female prime minister elected in the United Kingdom. Fiona. Margaret Thatcher. Correct. Congratulations, you have made it through the 70s. Things might get harder as we make our way back to the swinging 60s. Let's get started with some pop culture. Question one, what movie featuring Dustin Hoffman and his first starring role came out in 1967? You did it at the end of college, you, you're a... Fiona. The Graduate? Correct. In 1963, often referred to as The Rock, this federal prison closed after housing inmates such as Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and James Wadi Bulger. Bobby. Alcatraz. Correct. George Machine Gun Kelly was actually the first ever public en enemy number one. The swinging 60s have swung to a close, but now we go all the way back to the 50s. Hope you have your saddle shoes on as we start the nifty 50s. Question one. Marilyn Monroe married this Yankee center fielder in 1954. Fiona. Joe DiMaggio. Correct. In 1959, this communist leader came to power in Cuba. Bobby. Fidel Castro. Correct. Great job, guys. You've survived the decades. Let's send it over to Danny to see which, which one of you two will win the Hard Rock gift card. So we have Fiona in the lead with 210 points and Bobby behind in 160 points. We are going to move on to our speed round after this break. I hate teleprompters. Um, oh yeah.
Welcome back to Decades. Before we speed things up, let's slow things down and go over the rules. I will start with asking you a question in which you have two seconds to answer. A correct answer will allow you to keep going in, in which an incorrect answer will turn it over to your opponent. Either you will keep going until you get one wrong. Any questions? Fiona, you're going to start because you have the highest points going into this round. In 1989, this popular search engine was founded. Google? Correct. What was the first ever completely animated movie that came out in 1995? Uh, Little Mermaid? Any guesses? Uh, the Lion King? It was Toy Story. Yeah. What was the Britney Spears, what was Britney Spears' debut song? Hit Me Baby One More Time? Correct. What song from South Korean musician PSY became an internet sensation? Uh, Gangnam Style. Correct. Which Vietnamese city fell in 1975, ending the Vietnam War? Um, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Any guesses? Saigon. Correct. In what state did, Ro it's back to you now, in what state did Rosa Parks refuse to give up her seat on the bus? Alabama. Correct. What country did the U.S. men's national ice hockey team defeat in the 1980 Winter Olympics at Lake Placid during the Cold War? The Soviet Union. Correct. Well, that completes our speed round. Let's go to Danny oh. for the scores. We are at a tie. Bobby and Fiona both at three points. That's awesome. We have a few <laughs> prizes for you guys uh, from Hard Rock Cafe. So we have a shirt and a beady. Take your picks. All right. Thanks for watching Decades. See you next time.